I'm Johnny. Last week was a big reveal when I took all the bunnies that all you contributors sent to me and then turned it into this theme song. Kind of sucks. I'm not here to talk to you about the theme song, though. What I'm here to talk to you about is iteration. Iteration is this thing where you repeat the same process over and over and over and over and over again until you finally zero in on what you wanted to create. Iteration is connected to a lot of other really interesting ideas like recursion, like fractals, feedback loops, all kinds of interesting ideas. So how does this relate to a photograph or a song or a painting or whatever work it is you do? Well, when you're doing a work and you get far enough long down the path, sometimes it's a good idea to finish that work off rather than reject it. For instance, when I'm starting a song, sometimes I will only get so far and it'll be just like, man, I don't have any energy or will to finish this. This isn't turning out the way I want it at all. Once in a while, I'll get like 60, 70% of the way through and it'll just occur to me that, meh, this just sucks. It's not saying what I want it to say. It doesn't have what I want. Now I could stop there, or I could choose to finish it regardless of how I feel. And making that second choice is important because it's only another 30% of work to completion. And there's inherent value in carrying it off to completion because finishing a song is a lot different than starting a song. There's a different skill set involved. There's a different mindset involved. Finishing a photograph entails taking it into the dark room, real or digital, and doing any touch-ups that are necessary doing the color correction. That's part of the job, but that's wildly different from setting up the scene. So sometimes you just gotta take what you got and say, meh, not my best work, and carry it through to completion. Here's looking at you, episode number nine. Not only do you get these skills in finishing the work, it's also important because a piece of work carries a certain amount of space in your brain. And an unfinished work carries a lot more space in your brain. It's just sitting there going, you need to finish me, but getting me to that perfect state is too hard, so ha ha, screw you. So tell it to screw off and finish it off. That way you don't have to worry about it. That way it's not hanging around inside of your head. You can close the book on it. So be done with it and to say this is version 1.0 and walk away. You got to finish it with gutso. You got to make it happen. But make it happen and move on to the next thing. You can come back to it later, like our theme song. I'm not 100% happy with it. In fact, I'm only around 60-70% happy with it. But this weekend, I determined that trying to fix it would just not work at all. So I finished it instead. It's good. It's a good 1.0. But to be a theme song, it needs a lot of va boom and energy and this just doesn't have that so i'll come back and there'll be a new version so last episode i told you that the bunnies made a bass line which is in the theme song but i also use that bass line in this new track links down in the doobly-doo now this actually generated a whole lot of ideas that is going to turn into a whole mess of projects i don't want to talk about it yet if i hadn't have finished that song if i had to try to make it perfect then it could have been better, but it wouldn't have generated all these great ideas. Tips for single guys from Justine. If you get turned down by a girl that you like, don't worry about it. Just try again, but with a different fucking girl this time. Remember kids, iteration is fun.